Today we're going to learn how to limit the decimal places in Python. So fortunately this is super easy. So let, let's just jump into this and, and learn how to do it. So um, let's take this. Let's just copy an example here. Now we're, we're going to fire off our Python interpreter from Python 3 here. Now you, you could round a number to two decimal points like this. So say if you have something with like a ton of digits after the decimal point, um, you can round it to two places just using the round function like this. So we can round it out and there we go, it rounded it down to uh, only two decimal points. Um, that's pretty nice. Now since we're running the interpreter directly, we don't actually need to, uh, you know, we, we should be able to do this with, without, um, you know, without calling print. So same thing, if you were in a script, you'd have to call print. Here we can just call the round function, whatever it returns gets printed out on the screen. So that's pretty handy. Um, another way you can do this is by using print and you can specify the formatting. So let, let's show you how you might do that. All right, copy this little example here, paste it in here. And if you want this document on the right as a reference, just check the link in the description. Is this this um, yeah? This is our page that goes along with the video, and we're gonna we're gonna leave the link for this in the description of the video. So, any case, um, so see here, we're basically specifying the format as having a, you know, basically it's a you know two decimal point floating number. So um, you, you you can just go like this, and th there you go. Um, same result, right? So that that's just another way of doing the same thing. Now let's to uh, you know further just kind of show you the exact same thing we already showed you. Um, I mean you, you should pretty much have all the information you need by this point. This is pretty much everything. Um, but let's just just show you just just to see more ways you could do this. This should hopefully make it a little more clear. So you could save a number with a ton of decimal places to a variable like d1. You can print that out. Now a ton of decimal places, right? Now you could format it using the same same you know formatting function that we used above um, to two decimal places and save that to x. Now you could say x equals you can print out x. There you go. That's actually a looks like looks to be a string. Um, I, I believe this is the typo function. X. Uh, yeah, it's a string. So it, it's a string. So if we want to, you know, convert that back to a float, we can call f the the float function, pass x to it, and then assign that to a new variable called d2. Right, and now print out d2, and there we go. Limited the decimal places. So that's a slightly more elaborate way of doing the same thing. If that makes it more clear, rather than having all these things chained together like that, you could do them on separate lines like this. Hopefully that makes it, you know little bit easier to understand for somebody. Um, print if, if the stuff above was kind of messy or confusing. Um, so you can print it out like that if you like to. Um, so yeah, re real simple stuff. Um, you, you can round numbers using the round function like this, which we kind of already showed you. Um, yeah, we, we, we basically covered that. That's just repeating the same thing. Um, you, you know what, well, let's just show demo this anyways this is saving it to a variable it's it's the same thing though but uh print that out and we can say we can say uh print x and there you go Th there, there it is all right so that's pretty much it um you know hopefully you found that useful might want to give us a thumbs up might want to subscribe because we have a whole lot better content than this and we have simple videos like this we also have more advanced coding videos we, we co also cover servers electronics raspberry pis 3d printers networking hardware software and a ton of great tech stuff so you're, you're going to want to stick around for all that stuff you're going to want to subscribe to make your youtube feed that much better but also hit the bell icon so you don't miss videos when we come out with new videos and you're, you're probably going to, you know, more important than any of that stuff, even if you don't subscribe or anything like that, you're probably going to want to leave a comment down below. If you know something I don't know, if you have any comments, questions, criticisms, anything you want to say, just let me know because I want to know what you're thinking. I want to get that feedback. So definitely leave a comment. Maybe, I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll help the next person who comes along and watches this video. Um, but that's, that's basically everything we wanted to cover today. So um, as always... Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.